this week we started talking about the ocean. And so today we're gonna to be making an ocean animal. And our ocean animal today, you're gonna to be needing your green piece of paper and it's going to be our sea turtle art. So go ahead and grab your paper out of your packet. You're also gonna need your scissors and a glue stick. When you have your materials, we're gonna start by cutting out our sea turtle body. So go ahead and pull that paper off and we're gonna cut out, what shape do we have? Do you think it's a circle or an oval? I think it's an oval. You're gonna cut out your oval. When you're done cutting out the body, now we need to cut out all of the fins or the flippers that a turtle has. The next page is gonna have your turtle's head and his four legs down at the bottom. So let's work on cutting out those pieces next. Pull it apart and grab your scissors. Now you should have your four arms and leg pieces, your turtle's head, and his body. Now we're gonna put him together. First, we're gonna glue on his head. All I want you to do is just put a little bit of glue right at the bottom. We're not gonna cover his whole head with glue, just a little bit at the bottom. And then you can pick anywhere on your body to put the head. There's my turtle head. Now we need to add the arms and legs. He's got two arms just like you and me. And how many legs do you have? Let's count and see. I have one, two. Do you have two legs too? Oh good, so does our turtle. So let's work on gluing those on next. Same thing as our headpiece. We don't wanna put glue on the whole arm or leg. We just wanna put a little bit at the top to stick it on. Okay, I have all of the parts on my turtle, but my turtle's missing something. Do you know what my turtle's missing? His shell. The most important part of a turtle is its shell. A turtle's shell helps protect its body. So our sea turtle is going to need some shell pieces. You have two other pieces of paper that I sent home with you. So I want you to use, there's yellow and a light green. And we're gonna use our pinching fingers to tear our pieces of paper up and we're gonna glue them onto our turtle shell. So go ahead and start by tearing up your pieces and making a little pile on the table in front of you. All right, boys and girls, it's okay if you don't use your whole paper. This is a lot of paper. And if your fingers get kind of tired of tearing them, you can use your scissors to cut some of the pieces out too. I have all of my pieces for the shell right here in my pile. Now I have to work on gluing them onto the turtle. So you're going to make the shell by gluing on all your little pieces all over the turtle's shell. I like to put glue all over my turtle. That way I can just stick all my pieces on when I'm ready. Okay, now I'm just gonna stick all the colored scraps onto my turtle. Make sure you don't put the colors too close together. We wanna mix them up. So some yellows and some greens all mixed around.
All right, boys and girls, I finished my turtle's whole shell. His whole shell is covered with the pieces of paper. Don't forget to throw any extra pieces away. Make sure you collect all of your scrappy scraps and get them in the garbage. If you have big pieces of paper left over, you might wanna save those for another day. You can always use these papers for a different art project. The only other thing you can add to your turtle, you can give it a face, some eyes, maybe a mouth, and then I want you to hang it up on the wall in your room or somewhere in your house. We're gonna be making lots of ocean animals to add to our ocean environment. So when you make your animals, you can add them all together. And by the end of next week, you will have a whole ocean full of animals.